Welcome to another edition of Hayward Online Training. In this segment, we will cover drive operation and configuration for both super pump variable speed and max flow variable speed pumps. First, we see the pump display has viewed when the pump is not powered up. You will notice the power LED at the top left, as well as the display, are not illuminated. In addition, the LEDs for speed buttons V1, 2, and 3 are not illuminated. When power is applied to the pump, we see that the power LED is now illuminated and that the display shows the drive revision number and then the RPMs of the pump while in prime mode. While in prime mode, pressing the display function button will advance the display to also show the amount of time left remaining in prime mode as well as the amount of power being consumed in watts. The pump is set to start in the default prime mode, which is 3000 RPMs for 3 minutes. When priming is complete, the pump will switch to speed V3. The pump will then run at V3 speed for its program time, and then switch to speed V1. The default speeds and times are as follows. V1, 1500 RPMs and no timer. V2, 2400 RPMs for 12 hours. V3, 3000 RPMs for 12 hours. To configure the pump speeds and timers, begin by pressing and holding the display function button until the configuration menu is displayed. The first selection will be the prime mode. Press the up or down arrow buttons to adjust the prime time from 0 minutes up to 4 minutes. Next, press the display function button to edit the speed setting for V1. The up and down arrow buttons are used to adjust the speed between 600 RPMs and 3000 RPMs, which are the minimum and maximum speeds for V1, 2, and 3. Pressing the display function button again will display the speed setting for V2. Use the up or down arrow buttons to adjust. When the display function button is pressed again, you will see the timer setting for V2. To change, press the up or down arrow buttons to adjust the time anywhere from 30 minutes up to 23 hours and 30 minutes. Next, press the display function button to change the speed setting for V3. Press the display function button again to change the timer setting for V3. When changes are complete, press the display function button to save settings. Now we can view our changes by pressing V1, 2, or 3. When we press V1, we first see the speed that it is now set to. Pressing the display function button will display the current power consumption, denoted by a P. When we have selected either V2 or V3, pressing the display function button once will display the remaining time left on that timer, denoted by an H. Pressing the display function button again will show the current power consumption for that speed. When the Run Stop button is pressed at any time during normal operation, Stop will be displayed on the screen. The pump will stop within several seconds and will remain stopped until the Run Stop button is pressed again, at which point the pump will resume normal operation. To make a quick speed change to either V1, 2, or 3 while they are running, Press the up or down arrow buttons to increase or decrease the speed. The LED for the change speed will begin to flash. To save the speed change, press both the up and down arrow buttons. The LED should now be solid, showing that the speed has been changed.
When troubleshooting the pump, it may be useful to run the pump without program functions being active. This can be done in the service mode, which only allows for motor RPMs to be changed. Service mode is entered by removing power from the pump and then pressing and holding the display function button as power is restored. Test will then briefly be shown on the display and the LEDs for V1 through V3 will blink together to remind the user service mode is enabled. The pump RPMs can now be adjusted using the up or down arrow buttons. To exit from service mode, cycle the power to the pump off and back on. To reset the pump to factory default settings, remove power from the pump and then press and hold the run stop button while applying power back to the pump. When the pump is turned back on, the screen will display reset, confirming that all settings have been reset to factory default settings. The pump will then begin to operate in prime mode.